Hi folks, this is Vincent Idle with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Penny Papers Adventure Skull Island. So, uh, sit down, uh, games I'm guessing they are, sent me uh, quite a number of games here, and I figured I'd check one of them out and hopefully get to the other ones relatively soon. The other ones I got were uh, Penny Papers Adventures The Temple of Apgabla, and then we've got Penny Papers Adventures Valley of Blues. So, yeah, uh, so this one, Skull Island, was just the easiest to pronounce. That's why I opened this one first. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's all variants on the same theme. Each one came with just this little box, and it came with this uh, score pad separate. But there's already one in the box. If I were to open this box here, like, this is what you get with this, with this game. I got a score pad on the inside and three dice. This here all came separate. I mean, these are my pens, obviously. But um, yeah, these these score sheets, these this score sheet here, score sheet, this score pad, it all came separate, just like these did with uh, these boxes over here. I don't know if everyone does that or if the developer was just being nice and gave me some extra ones to feature. That could be it. The game also came with an instruction booklet. Now it looks thick, but it's because it's in like six or seven different languages. It's actually like three or four pages worth of. English text for those of us that uh, you know can't do anything else besides English. All right, so um, what is this game about? Well, basically, uh, you can play it solo, or you can play up to a hundred players. Uh, there's like a hundred sheets here. That's why it says that. And basically, everyone grabs a sheet, and they use the same side. This is a two-sided score sheet. There's a different map on each side. But when you're playing this game, you want to make sure that each player is using the same side. And here's the box information, should you want to know. 1 to 100 players, uh, about 20 minutes, and uh, or the um, average age is about 8 plus. So it seems like pretty family friendly, very kid friendly. And the object of this game is going to be um, earning treasure. And having only read the rules and never played it before, there may be a few things I might get wrong and I apologize in advance. But hopefully this will give you a taste as to what you're in for should you decide to pick up this game. But basically, the general gist of gameplay is going to be anyone rolls the dice, it doesn't matter who it is, and then every player is going to use these numbers somehow to write a number on their score pad. So they're going to take a look at these numbers. They can do the number two. Let's say that this was a four. They can put the number two on one of these empty spaces, the land spaces on, on their score sheet. They can put the number three, the number two, the number four, whatever they want. They can also add numbers. They can put the number seven on their score sheet. They can put the number six on their score sheet. They can add all three numbers together. That's six, nine, because math. I can, uh, yeah, math, nine. I can put the number nine somewhere on this sheet. And that constitutes a turn. Then you roll the dice and you keep doing that. There are some special, um, special dice icons here, like here's a ship. Whenever a ship is rolled, um, you, you, can, you do the ship action and you put a ship somewhere in the water, not on the land space. So you would draw a little ship there. And I'll explain what that does in a little bit. Uh, there's also this penny icon. Basically this penny icon is like a wild. She lets you put a 1 through 15 anywhere on the grid. Normally when you're placing a number, you have to put it next to an existing one, adjacent. Adjacent meaning one space orthogonal, or like up, down, left, or right, or diagonal. So if I had, say, the number 2 on this leftmost space, I could put a number here, here, or here. Got it? So again, we'll get there when we get there, when the game starts, but... Uh, and then, uh, so, but we roll, the, if this is rolled, uh, you can put a 1 through 15 anywhere on this sheet. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be adjacent or anything like that. Finally, the skull. If that's rolled, everyone always ignores these other dice and um, has to, basically, you switch uh, score sheets and then you put the skull on your opponent's score sheet. That skull, basically, if a treasure is on a skull, then you don't score that treasure. And I'll explain how you get treasures actually right now. That'll work. So the way to get treasures in this game is you have to um, have numbers or ships. I don't want to say triangulate because triangulate sounds like there would be three. But just as an example, I'll go ahead and just mark this one up real quick. Let's say that I had a, a two here, a two here, a two here, and say a ship down here. I can't draw. But so this, 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 and this intersects here. 
The moment that you inter this, that you've got a space intersected by four numbers or a combination of ships and numbers like this, then you can put the number two down here as a treasure. The game ends when someone discovers their fifth treasure. So people are going to be continuing to put numbers on the board, seven here, eight there, maybe ten there. Again, you're doing this in a... The numbers, too, can't just arbitrarily go wherever you feel like it, not unless you keep rolling this penny. But in, in that example, I was just saying, if, if this were the case, then you would put a treasure here. But anyway, uh, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen... I don't know, 14, let's just put maybe, um, I guess maybe a ship over here, and maybe a 7 down here, maybe a ship up here. So in this case, we've got 7, 7, ship, and ship. So this would be 7 as well. So you're, you're trying to get numbers like to form like a little plus sign. You've got, you know, this this here and this intersects at this little circle there. So again, you're trying to do that for uh, five different numbers. Obviously, the higher the better. Because at the end of the game, you're going to add these together and you'll get a subtotal. And then you're going to have these skulls here. Basically, what the skulls is, I talked about them earlier. If there's a skull on here, I'm just going to put a, a, I don't know how to draw a skull. A circle, circle, nose, and then no mouth. I, I, anyway, sure, that's a skull, right? That looks like that looks like a z okay. Anyway, so the way this thing works is, if you do not have a nine next to it, then it's a nine is a way to disarm the skull. But if you don't have a nine next to it, then you have to take the lowest number that's adjacent to it. Let's say I've got the number two here, and it, you have to subtract two points over here, like so at the, um, but you can also do, if you had a 9, like let's say you had a 9 there instead, you could, um, this, this, this becomes crossed out like you, you disarm it, and then instead you take the lowest number next to it and add it to your score instead, so it becomes a plus 2. So skulls basically are ways to lose points, but if you have a 9 next to it and you're able to disarm it, then you can uh, gain points instead. And then you're going to take the subtotal here, subtotal here, and then get your final score. I know that was just a very rough and confusing way to explain the rules, but that in a nutshell is what this game is all about. So I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod now and we'll try a practice game and see how this goes. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're about to play our second game. Uh, the first game I recorded, it was just terrible. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. We got confused, well I got confused, with, with the skulls. Uh, when we roll a skull, we take our opponent's score sheet, we put the skull down, but we weren't sure, do we put the number over here immediately, or do we wait until the end of the game to put the smallest adjacent number over here? I was, I was, the rule book said in some cases to do that and then in other cases to do it at the end of the game. You know, I was reading it over and over and over again. Finally, Ida Lee looked at the rule book after we were done recording and said, you know, this is, this is how it should probably be. And I agreed with her based on what she was reading. So um, I think we have it figured out now and I'm scrapping the first video because it was just terrible. <laughs> so uh, second game. Um, let's go ahead and just get this underway. We're most likely going to play this game again. <laughs> yeah, okay, so when we roll a skull, we have to follow that. So, you get we mine, don't even I get... have a number. Right, so, no number yet. So I'm just going to skull this one over, and this is going to be an unhappy pig, because I can't draw. Okay. Uh, unhappy pig. Mm. Mm. Unhappy, he's, yeah. He's got IBS or something, he's very upset. My unhappy IBS bloated pig. Right here. No, take your time. It's okay. There's, you're fine. My mushroom. I'm drawing my mushroom. Are you going to draw your Skype again? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Can I roll? Can we take turns rolling? Why? You don't like my rolls? I hate your rolls. Skull. <laughs> Oh, we have to watch. This is what we got confused on as well. Whenever we roll the skulls, we have to mark these little bubbles over here. Yeah. We were we were writing the number immediately in our off-camera 
video that I scrapped. We were putting the number over here immediately, but instead we just fill in these uh, little bubbles. And when we get to our fifth one, uh, after that, if we roll any skulls, we ignore that. Mm -hmm. We ignore the skull after that. So I have to put another unhappy pig, IBS pig, on your card. Okay. 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 Alright, so here's, here's your, her, her skulls are much nicer looking than mine. Are you kidding? They're mushrooms. <laughs> they're, <laughs> mushrooms. They're mushrooms. Well, I don't like mushrooms. So that, I guess, okay, so one, two, three. So I can put a one. Now the first one has to be on a shore to indicate that she was entering the island and from a ship or whatever. So I'm going to do, maybe I'm going to put the number... It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll put the number six over. I'm going to start maybe over here. Okay. And now I have to build off that six where you have to build off this five. Oh, so we're pretty, pretty close. Mm -hmm. You did five over there. So five, four, four. So nine, I could do nine. I could do five. I could do four. I'm going to go ahead and do nine somewhere. I'm going to put the nine. Now it has to be next to an existing number. So I'm going to put the nine over here to sort of safeguard this area from any sort of skulls that might be put down over here. Sorry. No, take your time. It's okay. Are you sure? There's only 36 minutes of battery left. Oh my god! Uh, again, our first video that I, I scrapped was an hour long, and half of it was me going, well, if we look at this, and then we look at this, it doesn't make any sense. When we look at this, it doesn't look at this, and I, I'm always all over the place with this. Yeah. But, um, no, while she's doing that, there is a solo adventure mode. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, if you don't want to play with people, there is a solo variant where you have to sort of earn a certain number of victory points to, to earn a certain rank. All right, so here's her so far. She's got... Oh, no, your, your nine has to be next to your five. Ah, oh, Flubbinay. Sorry. Flubbinay. Is that Spanish Flubbinay. for flubber? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, whenever you put a number down in this game, it, the first one has to be on the shore. The second one has to be adjacent to an existing number. Yeah, until I forgot. My bad. That's right. All right. One, five, four. So mm -hmm. another nine some. Well, I could put a nine next to this one. In the last game, we rolled like ten pennies in a row as well, so we had numbers all over the place. It was like... Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, so I need to put maybe... I'm going to do... I'm going to put a... I'll see. If I put a nine here, then I... Well... I'm going to do um, five. I'll put a five there. And you've got five, nine, nine. Okay. That's something I was... Five, four, four again. Apparently my, my rolls are like... Awesome. <laughs> yes, they're awesome. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put an eight here. Okay, and this is, again, what it looks like. There's that. And there's that. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those dice rolling. I got a treasure. Something <laughs> already? Yeah. All, the, all the nines. Oh my gosh, look at you with the nines. I was going to do that too, but like I didn't think I'd be rolling that many nines in a row. I didn't think so either. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, she's going to win this game again. I got two. No. I, according to the last game, again, we scored it wrong because I wrote the numbers first when they shouldn't have been written mm -hmm. immediately. But I had like two points, she had like 30 something. Uh, you forgot to put a bubble here, by the way, for the... Oh, I did? Song. Okay, you, you can do that. Okay. I'm, I'm a noob. Nice. Right, I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to put a five here. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm going to actually zoom in a bit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good job. What with these nines? Now, once you score a nine, you can't score mm -hmm. another nine. Yep. It has to be different numbers. Mm -hmm. So, but for me, I'm going to go ahead and put a nine... I guess I'm going to have to put, I'm going to start doing nines. I have to. Um, hmm. I wonder, can we get a treasure on top of a treasure? No, no. I don't think so. Oh. All right. Let's Skull see. Island. So, but you could put a number on top of a treasure, right? Yes, you can. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. This is what we did in the majority of the last game. Sorry. I think. We're pretty sure, whatever. <laughs> it eventually it went from pretty sure, yeah, let's look it up to whatever. It, it, it around the 40 minute mark, it was a whatever kind of game. I felt really bad about it. There's a skull. There you go. So here's mine. So I fill in a bubble and I put the IBS pig some, uh, somewhere. 
Um, so I'm going to put um, the IBS pig here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this um, right here. Oh, I have to fill. Okay, third dot. Got the third dot. Yep. It makes the space unusable. And basically, if we want to get rid of that skull, we have to get put a nine next to it. Three, four, five. Those nines are like, uh, uh, those are, they're on fire. Yeah. So I'm going to put a nine next to this, these two skulls right in the middle here. Which cancels that out and that out. I probably should have thought of that. <laughs> okay. Oh, do we cross it out? I'm crossing mine out. Because they're canceled. But if, if I had not crossed this skull out here at the end of the game, if the game ended right now, I would get negative five in one of those because I have, I don't, I, this is still active. But in this case, all right, so, yeah, all right, so, one, two, four. So I could put a six down, I could put a seven down, I could put a one down, but I think I want to do that. I'm going to put a seven over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One thing we did learn in our off-camera game, the one I scrapped, uh, treasures can be discovered in mountainous areas. So if I have an 8 here, an 8 over here, 8 up here, an 8 down here, or maybe a ship or something, I can circle the mountain and score that. Okay, 4, 3, 3. So 10, 7, uh, 7. I'll put, oh, I can't do that. Crapola. Crappity crap crap. Okay. Um, I guess I'll put the six here. Yeah. The six? Three and three, oh, six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. I add. Ship! This is Hi. our first ship! We had we did not get a single <laughs> ship in the last game. No ship. I'm happy. Shippity ship ship. I'm gonna put the ship over here. <laughs> this is a ship. Yeah. That's a ship. It's the IBS ship. IBS. Yes. So that makes the circle here because we've got a nine 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 and a ship, and that intersects here. So I put a nine. My first. This is my first treasure ever, you guys, in two oh, games. Yeah, Look at me. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This was this was my score sheet from the off-camera game. Look how <laughs> no treasure, bunch of negatives. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So. What is that? Your what kind of ship is that? It's the IBS ship. That I don't know. Awesome One, beautiful. two, seven. Uh, seven, eight. You can do seven, eight. I got a treasure. <laughs> is this? I got a treasure. This is valid, right? Seven, 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 seven ship. Yep, you got it. That's what I did with my nines for the most part there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to do a six. Actually, I'll do a five. Do a five there. Okay. One, two, three. That's six. Um, I'll put the six there and hope that I get another sick or another ship I put it up here and get a treasure mm -hmm. or something <laughs> or something or whatever or whatever and folks it's very possible that I'm still playing it wrong just for the record <laughs> read the bottom description it'll explain you know mm -hmm. I get everything that I get is usually a press copy and there's no way that I can become an expert I got another skull no you and yeah. yeah so we fill in the bubbles no I can be an expert with this many games so uh, we get stuff I get stuff wrong regularly all right so I'm gonna put um, mr. unhappy pig IBS pig up here on her sheet making it unusable <laughs> now you scored a nine here right and a seven here mm -hmm. yeah okay no, you're fine. I was just darkening it so I could see. This is hers. And your initials go in the upper left-hand corner so that when you give 
your sheet to someone to put a skull on, in this case the IBS pig, um, you, can, you know who to give it back to. That's why you put your initials in the upper left. Did you put a scythe on mine yet? No. <laughs> Unhappy pig. Unhappy pig. He's, he's the IBS pig. One, four, two. Um, that's seven again. Uh, <laughs> hmm. uh, so I could do five. Can you put a number adjacent to the skull? Yes. Even if it's not adjacent to a number? No, 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 no. It has um, to be adjacent to a number. I see. Okay. Yeah, big stipulation there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put a five. There's five five there. I could do. I'm gonna put a one here as a strategy because what if I don't get a nine? If I don't get a nine over here to cross out this skull, then I would have lost five points. But at least with this one here now, if this does not get crossed out by a nine, maybe here or here, then I'll get negative one instead of negative five. This skull takes the lowest number that it's adjacent to. So I guess it behooves some people to maybe use lower numbers if they don't foresee getting a nine ever to cross out a skull. At least the low numbers will guarantee that they're only going to be hit with a minor penalty as opposed to a major penalty. Okay. Now, yep. Skull! Oh, wait, this is, this is yours. Mine. There we go. So this is this is the fifth skull. So I don't think there's any more skulls no. that can be we ignore skulls now, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna put the unhappy pig, <laughs> the IBS pig, right there. It stinks because no matter how much Maalox this pig takes, he's still bloated. It's That's why he's unhappy. Yeah. Not that I would know from personal experience or anything. <laughs> I love cheese. I can't help it. <laughs> Wow, that was beautiful. It is. You like that speech? It was wonderful. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Alright, um, all right, I'll do this, just cause. Uh-huh. Cool. Scary looking thing. Wow. One, one, two. So, we're looking at... A whole lot of nothing! <laughs> I'm gonna put a one up here, again, for strategic reasons. Just in case I can't get rid of that skull. Penny, finally! We got a ton of those in the last game. So I can basically put a number anywhere. I'm going to put a nine over here. Oh, I already got a ship there, so... I don't... Where would I need to... Okay, the sixes, I need a ship for that. Seven... I've got no other sevens anywhere. Five, five, I could put a five here, and I could put a five up here, and then circle that for five. Can a treasure be on a number? Yes. Okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm. I only have one eight, so I really don't want to start introducing eights unless I can do something with it. All right, I'm going to do eight here. Yeah, well, yeah. I would need a ship up there to fin- yeah, whatever. <laughs> At least like every game. Yeah, it, this, this is turning into that whatever. Okay, so one, five, four, we've got nine or ten. Um, five, five. I could put a five here. And then... Then if I put a five up here, that would circle that mountain. I could do that. I'll, I'll do that. And again, I'm probably not playing expertly either here, but so it goes. Okay, so okay. ship came up, but we have to do this. Oh, wait, we ignore the skull now, yeah. right? Yep. So we do the ship. Okay. So I'm going to put the ship here. This is the letter J with things. Okay, so my ship. So that gives me this. Six. And this acts as, yeah, this for five. Wow, look at you. Yeah, so I did a ship here, 
6666 intersects here. Also, the ship can act as more than one number. 5555 five, five intersects here. Is this ship doing anything else for me? 8. Okay, so I would need I would need no, I I would need an 8 somewhere in this and it's it, I can't do it. Mm -mm. Okay. Um I I guess I'm done with that. Seven. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm deep in thought as well. We got 18 minutes of battery left. Oh, okay. I'm done. Having used up an hour from, from that disaster of a first video. One, two. You did great, by the way. I'm just saying I was. Yeah. One, two, four. So we're looking at six or seven. You know, I'm going to put a seven over here. Well, it wouldn't do anything. I would need a 7 here, or, yeah, in this column, and I can't do that. I could put a 7 maybe here, and then, yeah. But that that little, that's yeah, bad. I'm going to put the 7 here instead. Okay. No, you're fine. All right, we ignore the skull and do the ship. So... Where would I want the ship to be? Well, I need the number eight. I could put. If I put the if I put the ship up here, this is the happy ship. I don't I, I don't know how to draw ships, but yeah, if I put the ship here, and then if I can ever get an eight here, then I could do this space for the eights. Skull. We ignore that. Two and two is four. So we do twos or fours. I'm just going to put a two. What do we? I'm going to put the. I'm going to put a four. I'm just going to put a four up here. And the game ends whenever. Someone gets five treasures. Eight or four. Okay, actually this works. So eight here. So now I've got um, eight, 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 intersecting ship eight. So circle that. I put an eight here. So I'm on my fourth treasure. Nice. This is what I've got here. But I'm sort of, in, I need a nine here. Otherwise, this skull goes against this 8, because 8 is the lowest number adjacent to it. This one's also, well, it's next to the 1 that's not so bad. This one's next to the 1 that's not so bad, but I need either a low number here or a 9 there to cancel it. Uh, nine. That's a 9. That works. This 9 goes here, and I cancel this, or that skull. I hear you. Um. The problem that I'm having is that the game gets so busy. Like, even though I've got these are considered treasure spaces, you can still put numbers there that might benefit you for some other thing, you know? In this case, I have to match up sevens. Uh, eight. Yeah, I, I don't have... One four. Okay, so that's another nine, and I could put down somewhere to maybe cancel something else out. I'll put a nine over here to cancel this skull out. Even though, I mean, I, I could have just taken the one point penalty there, but I don't want, I don't want that skull there. A number has to be placed adjacent to a number. To a number, not a treasure, right? Correct. Well, it has to be. It has to be next to another number. Period. Okay. A treasure does not count as a number. It's just oh, a circled okay. space. I see. All right. Based on my interpretation of the rules, mind you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ship! Yeah. Ship. Woohoo! Okay, so how am I going to use this to my advantage? What numbers do I need? Five, six, eight, nine are the ones I use. So seven, I mean, sevens are the really real thing that I've... I could do a ship over here and then hope I get a ship here and so I just need to roll another ship basically. 
There's a ship over there. Sure. When you complete it, do you are you done? Like, does the other person keep rolling? Well, we should all have the same number of spaces. No, we're, we're, we're only filling in one space, per, so we should be finished at the same time. I finished. No, you didn't. I did though. Oh, oh no, no, the game's over then. Oh, you got you did your five treasures. Okay, and then we're done. Oh, really? You yeah. don't keep rolling? No, that's it. Oh. The game's over at five. So now I guess we look at the skulls. So I've got a skull here that isn't crossed out. So I have a one next to it. Mm -hmm. So I have a negative one here. But this this one is canceled out, right? Mm -hmm. So I get a positive one for that one. Mm -hmm. This one has an eight next to it, which is the lowest. So I get a positive eight. Mm -hmm. This one has a seven next to it, which is the lowest. So that's a positive nice. seven. This one has a five is the lowest number. So this is a plus five. I, again, I, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah. I could be wrong. I think so. And then yours was how many unhappy pigs? You unhappy pig that, mm -hmm. unhappy pig that. This one unhappy yeah unhappy pig. Mm -hmm. You were unhappy pigged all of them. So you got a five for that one in the upper part here. Mm -hmm. You got a five on that one mm -hmm. for here. You have a four. 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 You have a five. Mm -hmm. Or is that, a, is that a ten? Yeah, it's a ten. That's a five, and that's a four. And a four. So a lot of fives and fours. Yeah. All right, so we add this up. Uh, 19 plus 7 is 26. Plus 5 is 31. Plus 4 is 35. Subtotal 35. 10, 15, 19, 23. Add the 2. 23 plus 35 is 58. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. Mine is uh, 15 plus this 20. 28 is subtotal here. This is plus 1. It's 1. This is 2. 10, uh, 17, 22. So that would be 22 plus 28 is um, 50. Right? Yeah, 50. Mm -hmm. So I got 50 points, and you got 58 points. Yep. So you win. Thank good, you. Good job, Boo-Boo. So, like, I, like... Oh, I, real hmm? quick. Did you add these two together? Plus one and plus one? Did you cancel out this one? Was yes. this a minus one or a plus one? Uh, oh, that is a minus one. So I got uh, four, 48 then, because I counted it twice. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're fine. No, no, you still won. 48, 58. So you won by 10 points. Good job. So... So with two minutes left, I'll simply say, I think the rules, again, I, it could have been me in my old age not understanding the rules when I was reading them, but I think the game could have stood maybe with some sort of rules clarification section, you know, commonly asked questions and FAQ, something to clarify on some of the more complicated rules. But overall, it's not a bad little game. Like I said, there's a solo adventure mode should you want to play for yourself. So that was Penny Paper Skull Island. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Jazz hands. <laughs>